Okay, welcome everyone. So what we're looking at today is creating an image blender or what is called Agamato. I believe that's how it's pronounced. But we'll call it image blender and that is basically a an image gallery. So you have a series of images that you can move through or the user can move through and you have a few settings that you can tweak. So what we've created here today is a picture that would be zoomed in so we're using four different pictures to zoom in and to one object in our picture so you scroll and you get to see the goat closer so you see these ticks here each one or these dots each dot is a picture so we used four pictures to achieve this you can use this for a basic image slider gallery or use it to zoom in into stuff or also to have things appear on an image a few different uses for it alright let's take a look how we can create an image blender with H5P let's get started creating an image blender activity using H5P on WordPress so the first thing you want to do is you want to go down to your H5P content and you want to add a new activity and from the module lists that we have scroll down and find this one right here called Agamotto or image blender if you don't have it installed click on the get button to get it install it and then click on it to start creating this activity so this is not so much an activity as much as, as a slide or part of a, a learning book. So we'll start with the title. We'll give this a title. We'll call it Image Blender and the heading. We'll just call it Watch the Goat. This is the heading of the activity and then after that we start adding our images. So this is kind of like a slider or a an image gallery depending on how you use it. It's got few different uses but let's start with the first use case and that is to zoom in zoom in into a picture. Might not be so helpful but if you can find a way to use it it would be great. So first thing you do is you add a picture. So I'll add the first picture that I have. You have to give it an alternative text. I don't have an alternative text. I'll just call it alternative text. Hover text. This is optional. We'll just call it a far shot. And as you can see, it's a picture of you'll see it now a picture of mountain goats label we'll just call it goat one and an image description change this we'll copy it we'll say this is a far shot of a goat so we'll just fill these for the first picture, for the second picture, add the second picture and it is the same picture but it is more zoomed in. I'll just call it alternative text as well here. Wait for it to load. I won't fill in any of the other. I don't really, I don't think we need to. and it's a little bit more zoomed in we'll go to image 3 we'll add the third image put in the required alternative text leave everything else blank I'll just wait for it to load okay and then go to the fourth one very simple not a lot of options actually even in the settings 
copy it and then paste it in there all right so that's it we have our four pictures as you can see it zooms in the more pictures you have the more smooth the uh, zoom in will be and we go down to the behavioral settings here and we start at image one snap slider so if this option is checked then the slider will snap to the next image it won't be a a slider that you can leave at any any place so if you're in halfway between the first and second image and you let go it will snap to the closer image so what I want to do with this is I'm not I'm not gonna have it snap and display tick mark this displays the tick mark which is the place for each image so that the user knows that at this tick mark there is an image the next tick mark there is another image I don't want that well actually let's have the tick mark just so we can see and display labels okay we'll display labels since I left the label for the uh, first one and the last one is transparency replacement so color so if you put a transparent image you can choose what color to replace the transparent space with my pictures aren't transparent so it doesn't matter what I choose here and then here you have the option to override the default the default prompts in this activity not too many options we'll leave that and you can change the language we'll leave that as well so that's basically it I don't want to display a toolbar and I want to create I want to see what it looks like okay so here is our picture this is the first picture and this is the activity you can see you can see the label here you can see the description here and these are the ticks that we enabled so we know where each image is so we added four pictures we have four markers and we have uh, the description here this is a far shot of a goat and what happens is once you start sliding it slowly moves into the next image you can see that here and I can leave the slider anywhere so I can leave the slider right here because I didn't tell the slider to snap to the next point if I had enabled that that snap it would just snap to the next one it wouldn't allow me to leave it in the middle so you can see that it looks like it zoomed in I got to the second picture third picture and last picture fourth picture here so it kind of zooms in zooms out description for the first one no descriptions for the others and that's basically it there's not much to it to get this on a website you gotta grab the short code and you want to add it to a new post or a new page so I'm gonna create a post okay we have our new page I'll title this image blender and you want to add a new block that is a short code block short code block and you want to paste your short code in there and you just want to publish your post and that is basically it let's view our post see what it looks like all 
Okay, so here's our activity. We move through and we've got movement through the images. So this is a great a great way to display pictures. So there are many ideas. So you can have, for example, a diagram of a process with the first the first step and then you add a second picture with the second step, third step, fourth step and the user can go through it to see each step being added. There's a, an example on the official page of a borderless globe and once you start moving through the images the borders start appearing on the globe. That's another cool way to use it but I mean by itself you can use it as a I guess an image gallery if you really wanted to but the great thing with this is that you can add it as part of a an interactive workbook so a user can uh, you can present the user with images diagrams using this it's a great way to uh, to use visuals for activities it's not much to it uh, that's it Nothing else. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.